Look, you guys don't need to be combative and and okay. You're not being cooperative either. I'm trying to explain what this is because there are real I'm trying to conduct an investigation. This is what I'm talking about. If you would just obey. This would be a lot easier. This would go a lot smoother if you guys would just cooperate. Can I interrupt? She, she's, he's talking to her. If you could. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These two are talking. Go ahead, Josh. I'm sorry. Ask her again. It's my supervisor. Ask her again. Who made the call about us going into unauthorized areas? You, we don't know that for sure. I know she, that. Do you know she could have been standing next to the person. The person could have told her. We don't know what she does and doesn't know. Sir, you're interfering with our investigation right now. If you let me explain, I can wrap this up. Well, again, we, we, we got to interview you guys one at a time. This is an investigation that we, we can't just have all of you talking at once. We need you to stop being disorderly and just do as we say. Please. But first, thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. You guys all know that it's your responsibility to protect and defend your own rights, and that includes your right to privacy, whether in person or online. If you want to have a private conversation, you go into a private place, rather than having it on a public sidewalk where everybody can listen in and or record. And if you don't want hackers, businesses, and government watching everything you do on the internet, you use Private Internet Access VPN. Private Internet Access hides your IP address and safeguards all of your data by sending it through an encrypted tunnel. You can connect an unlimited number of devices simultaneously with just one plan. I use private internet access to be able to watch my favorite TV show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, for free on Netflix. It's only available for free in the UK and Australia, not in the US, but private internet access allows me to log on to the geographical location of my choosing. Therefore, I log on in the UK and am able to access my favorite content for free. This makes purchasing this service a no-brainer, but on top of that, when you use my link in the pinned comment and the description below, you'll save 83% and pay only $2.03 per month, plus four months free. So you get an awesome service that helps save you money while simultaneously supporting the channel. What are you waiting for? Click the link below. So we were at Concord City Hall where some of the guys wanted to file some complaints on some police officers. And uh, I followed along because I just wanted to um, be a dick. So the very first thing that I went to do is back the blue or stand behind them. It turns out they don't like it at all when you stand right behind them, but I was just trying to back the blue. It's, I'm just kidding guys, it was never about backing the blue, it's about citizen safety and the need to maintain the tactical advantage. Josh is showing them a picture of an officer who beat the crap out of a 12-year Marine Corps veteran while on a welfare check and asking what his name is, but these cops are refusing to give their colleague's name. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Just not behind me so I don't fall into you. Don't touch me. Okay. Goes two ways, all right? I didn't touch you. I'm sure many people would argue that I'm being unnecessarily rude, but I would argue that it's rude to hide the identity of somebody who beat up a veteran on a welfare check. I don't stop by alone. Not when you tell me. That's a bad idea. You're asking me for something. I just want to know the name of this car right here. That's all. Have you folks seen the video of uh, the Concord Police Department beating the hell out of an unarmed Marine Corps veteran in 13 years? It's right here if you want to see it. Did you see want the answer to your question? I want the police chief here because I'm going to set up shop here all day. Okay. There's a bunch of citizens that I can just show. Because this cop, and you do realize, this cop is. I think it's Captain and Chief are the same. I think he's the highest ranking. No, guy. he's not. There's a chief. The moment I'm the one that's here. There's a chief. Well, so how do we file a complaint against these officers for uh, violation of this man's civil rights? They didn't go in the house with actions in circumstances. They didn't go in the house with a warrant. Um, besides being a documentary filmmaker as a backup career, in case this doesn't pan out for me, I also practice law as a side job. So, you know, I'd like to file a complaint. Two ways I can do this. I can send you the complaint form if you want. No, to I like to do it in person. I'm an in-person kind of person. Okay. We can get you, the, we can get you one of those. Where, where do we need to go to do that? 
Okay. Well, well I'm sure you that we can give you the video. We can. I can give you my statement. What, what you, you want to do? You can fill it out here and turn it into a person. We can do it. Why can't I just give it to you orally? We have. Well, we have it. You can take it orally. I can decide to do that and take the information. Yeah. yeah. Well, you all want to file reports against those officers and file a complaint on behalf of the citizen Kukowskis who were abused okay. by the department, and, and then we're going to follow up on the investigation and things like that. And you will it's take it orally, right? Ron wanted to give his complaint orally, so the captain had the sergeant take it orally while I photographed them. After Ron has finished filing his complaint, I go back to backing the blue. No, I think that's it. He gave, he's all set. Alright, good to go. After they file their complaints, we all leave the building. One of my buddies, Josh, looks inside of the police car <laughs> and sees on the CAD, on the uh, the call display, that uh, someone had called the police there and told them that they said that we were intruding on unauthorized areas and they needed a response for the first time. Let's go monitor. talk about it. Let's it's go. Right the, the, the call on the CAD says that we were going into unauthorized areas. So we need to find out who made that false complaint. I was just reading it Well, no, there was someone that called the actual police station, it looks like. She, maybe she can, though. Do you know who filed a false police report? There was no false police report. You, someone said there was a, a excuse me, there, there was a excuse? phone call yeah. to the police chief. Who said we went to... in unauthorized areas? That is my question. If you can't answer a question, how do you run a town? No. She, she's, he's talking to her. If you could, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 these two are talking. Shh. Go ahead, Josh. I'm Thank sorry. You. Ask her again. It's my supervisor. Ask her again. Who made the call about us going into unauthorized areas? Someone I, called the police and said that because it's on their it's on their cab. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, Town office is called because First Amendment officers were intruding in unauthorized secure areas. She's not going to know who put it in. So should we go? Ask you, we don't know that for sure. I know she, that. Do you know she could have been knows. standing next to the person. The person could have are told her. We don't know what she does and doesn't know. Sir, you're me. interfering with our investigation right now. We are questioning her, not you. Stop telling her what her answers are. That's Look, don't be disorderly. Please back up and let us interview her. It's a Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank you. You, you asked who made a phone call. I just want you to call. stay out of it. That's all. I made a phone call. You're telling her what the answers you, are. Because you said you didn't report us no, going into I want an answer out of her. A clear right? answer. So, so I'm asking Thank you, are you aware of anyone else that had made that phone call? My assistant also tried to reach him. Your assistant? Yes, okay. Shannon, who you met Shannon. upstairs. I did. So she made the false police report and the false 911 call, she, which is a, is that a, excuses, it's not a misdemeanor, is that a felony? Excuse me. Go ahead. She made a phone call. To who? Yeah. To whom? To the police station. What did she say? I, I don't know. I'm telling you. Well, where she, was, she was asking for the police chief because you requested, you were one, one of... So hey, someone's... Yeah. What's her name? We can go ask her what oh, she Shannon. said. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. Let's go we ask Shannon. We just want to figure out who made the false 911 call. Is, um, nobody, abuse nobody of the 911 system, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? <laughs> it was a 911. If you let it me explain, I can wrap this up. Well, again, we, we, we got to interview you guys one at a time. This is an investigation that we, we can't just have all of you talking at once. We need you to stop being disorderly and just do as we say. Please. Go ahead, Josh. Thank you. Um, Captain, uh, do you know who made the, the false 911 call? Ma'am, you can have a seat on the, on the curb while he talks to him. I do not. You do not. Okay, thank you. That's all. That's all. Uh, Sergeant, I'm going to put you in. Go ahead and have a seat on the curb while he talks to them, please. Please have a seat while he speaks with them. Do you know please. who made the false Look, you guys don't need to be combative and... and okay, you're not being cooperative either. I'm trying to explain what this is because there are real conditions of the 
I'm you're, trying to conduct shh, an investigation. This is what I'm talking you. about. Okay. If you would just obey. Yeah, it's, it's, this would be a lot easier. This would go a lot smoother if you guys would just cooperate. And this is just a citizen's investigation. Imagine if we were cops. Should we this just move on to the side? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, Please so check out the video. Come on, you all. Come on, you all. We're just conducting a citizen's investigation. Thank you. Uh, and, and, Captain, would you consent uh, to a cursory search of your person just to put Pat down for citizen safety? I for safety. Touch, for his safety. That is a good answer. That's a good okay. answer. That is a good yeah, answer. We'll just keep it in just so you and know. you know what? More people need to give that answer. Yeah. When Richard. they're asked, can I put my hands on you just for my safety to check you for weapons and testicles? Richard said and the same thing and he got beaten for it. So I just like to... I like that. I'm dead serious. I love that answer. There's no other decent answer. No other acceptable answer. No, you keep your hands off of me. She told you, the other person that made a call, I think yes. we need to go and ask that person exactly what they said on the call. We can, yeah, uh, if there's more, if there's more. What was her name again? What was her name? Are you okay if the sergeant follows you up there? I feel safer if she's he, Sergeant can yeah. follow him and I'll follow she's sergeant. Who is it? Sergeant, I got you six. I got you six, Sarge. Please don't be disorderly down here while we're gone. We don't want to have to. Okay, thank you. Areas. I'll sit right there. I'm going to sit right there. I did not make a call saying anyone was intruding in our, They've been playing in our area. No, there's only two people that called, you and your boss. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't do it, then she must have said that. It must have been her. Though. Which one was it? She Maybe we need to get the... Case of who done it. She didn't say I think we're going to need a couple of rooms at this point. Do we're going to need to interrogate them separately. Do you have a room with a desk and a lamp? I need to know the lighting. All right, so Shannon... At this point... That's the call, right? Yeah. That probably ends your... Yeah, no, she... she right? Yeah, she's... She, she said that... Wait. Um, she's just trying to... She do said that her here. boss did it, so we can offer you a deal. She says it wasn't her. Only two people made the call. Ha and she says... She wasn't the one that did it. That would leave one person. Thank, thanks for being somewhat cooperative. Thank you for being very cooperative with our investigation. I love you. You could have been more cooperative. It would make things a lot easier on you and everyone else. So to me, this was really just the goof off part of the project. I, I just really don't take the complaint process in asking our government to investigate themselves and say that they did something wrong very seriously. I, I, I can't take it seriously. To me, the only part that actually matters is getting the video of what actually happened and showing it to you guys. We did already do the request for that video. That request has already been denied. But there are some other avenues in which we're hoping to get a hold of it within the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, here's a sneak peek about what this is really all about. There was absolutely zero exigent circumstances that would lead them to believe that anything was going on inside my house that was illegal. Oh Police department! They tried to come in first when my wife gave the okay for the landlord to go into the basement to fix the burner that needed to be fixed. At that time, they had one team moving up the stairs. They decided not to breach the door for their own safety reasons. Police department, open the door! I was very, very, very um, clear with them in a very loud and sometimes vulgar way of you not coming in my house because I had done nothing wrong. They gathered their forces and ultimately it led to breaching my door with a battery ram. I saw the door broke, break open. Um, first two police through came with tasers drawn, pointed at me, and the third one had a handgun pointed at me. Get and then I got dropped somehow. I don't remember, but the police report says he punched me in the nose. Did you fing tase him again? Are you kidding me? I knew with that third one with a gun, he would have had no problem killing me. And I did not want my wife to witness that. They smash his face onto the floor and break his nose and give him a concussion. They needed to get in here okay. because of the so, heat, so, okay? I and know, I didn't answer within okay. five minutes, so, so they called the police on us, and now my husband's tased and getting arrested. Oh. 
Put your hands behind your back. We need animal control. The Concord police had arrived that day for a welfare check. When they got there, Rich, a 12-year Marine Corps veteran staff sergeant, was just fine. By the time they left, he had a fractured orbital bone, broken nose, concussion, and cracked ribs. The full story of his encounter with the Concord, Massachusetts police is coming soon.